the job. the last respectable job on earth agency. Oh good. Yeah, I'm applying for the last respectable job you can ever possibly imagine getting. Really? Qualifications? You think I don't have qualifications? Let me tell you something. I know all about the the um the the economy. I know everything about the economy. I'm a real economy kind of guy. And everything you could possibly relate to that. Alright, I'll be over there soon. Don't you worry. The economical crisis, crisis is all gonna be wrapped up soon. Don't you worry. Oh yeah. about the job. So you think you're ready for the job? Yeah, I think I'm ready for the job. Oh, right. I'm not so sure. So anyway, the job is mine. The job? I don't think so. I'm taking that job. Yeah. I got a, I got qualifications. I know how to spell economic. <laughs> And you don't. The job is going to be mine. And your little dog, too. I suggest we settle this with a cell phone duel. It's now. 
and I can hear you loud and clear. Ugh. I'm going to wish that you're going to wish that you're on broadband. Richard Simmons with some lemons. <coughs> you will feel my wrath. Yes, you will feel those long roaming charges. You think this is just the end of the battle of the cell phones? Think again. Because this is the end of the beginning. Or the the beginning's end. Or the or the end or the the the, the end's beginning. But let alone that, it's definitely a battle. And it has cell phones in it. Excuse me, young American. Yeah, what do you want? It seems that <clears throat> certain sources believe that you're in fact indeed the one that has been hired by the controversial company Bushko. Yeah, I am hired by Bushko. Why do you ask? You want to know what I'm doing there? Well, no, it's just I don't see why anybody would work at the Forsaken Company at this time of year, especially after Enron, Worldcom. Martha Stewart. You see, I simply want to honor my country by, um, by protecting it and one of its most valuable resources, the last known uranium mine in the West. And so, I've got to protect it, because I'm the guard. And I'm going to make sure showbiz punks like you don't get to it either and stop it. Neither. Ain't. Okay? I'll be off then. Ew, God. <laughs> ah, excusez-moi, monsieur. But, uh, you know where the Twin Peaks are? By any chance? What the hell are you talking about, boy? I think you need to speak up. Oh yes, what the hell are you talking about? I am, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my accent is getting a little strong lately. Okay. Uh, that, that is the, the accent reducing medicine. I sound, I sound a lot more audible when I take it. Um, audible? Audible, understandable, comprehensible, you know. Um, anyway, where, I'm, I'm a tourist. Um, where is the, these uh, Twin Peaks? Down southeast in San Francisco. Ah, the San Francisco. Um, thank you very much. And, and if I may ask, uh, just uh, what is it that you are doing here, Monsieur? I take it you mean my job, your Yes, your, your occupation. I'm here to stop the dangerous operative hired by the Bushites under a former company called Bushco. Ah, they the Bushco. They uranium. Uranium. I see. So you're here to stop this guard. Well, bon chance. I mean, I mean, um, good luck in finding this this guard, Monsieur. Wait a minute. Are you one of them Frenchies? Oui, je suis français. But uh, be careful if I were you. We don't like the Frenchies. Ah, yes, because of the whole non-participate. Um, I would, I would suspect that I would have to fear the Bushko even more. Well, 
I will heed your warning and uh, value your alliance with your... Uh, You are the snowman. I will see you around. <laughs> and once again, this concludes our series. Tune in next week. Agent, report your status. I thought you were supposed to be getting hold of the uranium mines. You were uh, supposed to have authority over those. I'm closer to the, the, my competition, but I need some more time. That is not good enough. You have failed me for the last time. This organization does not tolerate failure. So I'm going to have no old blood alternative then to press the clear button on your own little career here. No, no, I assure you, it won't happen again, please. I'm no. pressing the clear button no. now. Oh. <laughs>
have a seat. Sorry if you thought I was stalking you. Now. You know, it's odd. We appear to be wearing totally different clothes than we had been in the scenes before. I mean, in the moments before. Isn't that bizarre? And I'm here to tell you, for the sake of protecting the uranium mines, that the only way to escape this time loop that you're stuck in, that caused a uh, uh, mysterious clothing change, is to use these keys and harness a, <coughs> a really cheap rip-off of the Force in order to escape. And I believe you can venture into freedom from there. And so without further ado, you shall set off. Godspeed, Steve. Godspeed. And off he goes. And so, the Nomad's Odyssey continues.
you have reached the message center in which you can record a audio journal. To access your audio journal, press 1. Your audio journal is accessed. To begin recording, press 3. Recording is beginning now. Now. Alright. Hmm. This is quite a big deal. The uranium mines. Uranium mining is the last best hope for freedom in the galaxy. And for that matter, maybe even the universe. <coughs> I'm camped out here now, on the outskirts of the middle of nowhere. A little town called Novato, or N Novato, something like that. Novato, maybe Novato, I'm sure. Anyway, I came across the guy today in that cafe over there, or as they say au français, la bas, over la bas, well, I gotta <clears throat> guard this uranium mining colony thing, and make sure no one else gets to it, because uranium is the only way out. And so, the most important thing I can possibly keep record of is there is no time for audio recording left. So, suck on that, you mofo. Oh. I'll just be camped out here for a while. Let's see. Oh, that's um, three for you and one, two, three for me. Four for you and one, two, three, four for me. Five for you and one, two, three, four, five for me. Six for you and one, two, three, four, five, six for me. Damn, not a very good hand. Yeah, so I have a few cards. Check this out. Check this. And this. This here. Yeah. Two, three for me. And three, and three for you. Ah. Uh. Uh. Oh well, two aces. Read them and leave. I've got ten, king, jack, jack, eight, three, nine, two, seven, nine. Two, five, three, queen, five, four, eight, eight, six, four, seven, okay, six. Hopeless. Well, it's been a nice talking to you, sir. What the hell are you doing here? I bet you're after those uranium mines, aren't you? I'm looking for uranium in them dar heels. Alrighty, 
we will settle this. I believe we go to a draw with a showdown mid afternoon tomorrow in the big wide streets of Novatin. information of the best uranium mining locations are in this stored in this cell phone. There's a secret uranium storage supply right in here. So whoever wins will be able to take home the gold of uranium. I can do as a memorial recognition for my brother that I never knew. I shall replace mine own hat 
with his. And this shall be known as the standard hat for Jason Case. <laughs> I don't teach those bloody yanks. <laughs> Good God, that was the most bizarre dream I've ever had. And it seemed to be about a time loop, a uranium mine, and, and, and it seemed to have that Jason Case character in it. It just, it all just made no sense. God, that was, that was startling. Well, it just goes to show no more hallucinogenic sleep aids for me. No, thank you. Isn't the nomad or someone who resembles him?